Today, we talked to Frankie Palmieri about what he's nerdy about. What is it, Toby? Street Fighter? Yeah. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Michael, a.k.a. Rickshaw, and welcome to Worship and Tribute Nerd 2019 Season Finale. I'm joined by... Toby Schofield. And for our finale, we got a chance to do an interview with Frankie Palmieri. What up? Toby was there. We were hanging out. It was a good time. Uh, Toby was sweating. I was sweating uh, meeting Frankie. Uh, you know, listening to his music for 15 years and right. you, you left me in the, the hotel room that we destroyed. I mean, we didn't destroy it. We I put mean, it all back, it back together. together. Yeah, yeah. I mean. <laughs> but we yeah. destroyed it to make a, a nice set for all the viewers. Right. And uh, yeah, you left me in the room uh, by myself when I, I didn't know what to say. So I offered to play video games with them because I had I a mean, Nintendo. He's just a normal dude, man. He's normal. Yeah. But I'm not normal. So right. like I was like... <laughs> Oh, geez, Frankie. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> I mean, I, I was nervous in a sense of like, man, I hope I don't fuck up because this is a cool interview. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I, I just didn't want to be that that uh, that nerdy fanboy guy. So I was like trying to play it cool. Like, yeah, man. What? You, you I've, known, I've known Frankie. I, t- I did a tour with Frankie in like 2010, 2011. I don't know, something like that. Right. I think I've done a couple of tours, and uh, he's always been a cool guy. And I even like when I went to go pick him up, I was like, "Hey, so like, just to let you know, I'm like kind of nervous because <laughs> like I don't want to fuck this up. And like, whenever you think about things like that all day, you usually fuck up, right? right? So, <laughs> so yeah. And then you made him coffee. And then I made him coffee, and then I forgot to give it to him, so I just sat there the whole time. Got really nice and cold. And then we started the interview (laughs) and went for like five minutes, and then I was like, oh my God, I didn't hit fucking record. And it was good stuff, too. Yeah. (laughs) It was really good stuff. And then I could tell that if you, if the very beginning of this interview, you can kind of tell like Frankie's like, I already said all this. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) So, I mean, I'm even like looking at him like, yeah, (laughs) yeah, let's repeat all this shit. Yeah, so. He was really good about it, though. Right. He he was really, really, really laid back, so. Yeah, so it was a good time playing some Street Fighter, talking about some Street Fighter with Frankie. So, uh, we're going to show that right now. So, check it out. Today, we got a special guest. Frankie Palmieri. How you doing, Frankie? Good to see you. <laughs> uh, this, is, this is awkward now because I just fucked up all the first half, but we're, we're going to try it again. So, Frankie, we also have Toby Hello. with us. Toby has a podcast, Secret Levels, and he's responsible for the Super Nintendo we've got and the camera. So... Frankie, hey, um, <laughs> how you been? Dude? I'm good. Life, you know? good. <laughs> out there getting after in life. Right, yeah. right, right. Killing it, rocking it out. Trying, right. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't rock anymore. Well, I mean, I, I do in that normal normal dad kind of way or something. You dad know rock, I mean? right? Dad rock, <laughs> butt rock. That's what that's ah. what dad rock is evolved into these days. But uh, yeah. So how's the tour going? Uh, good man, it's stacked. It's, it's us. It's still good. Right. Asley dying after the burial, and it just sold out shows. You know, it's a good vibe, dude. Yeah, man, it's amazing. Thank how was, you. How was the catering today at the House of? Blues? I don't. I didn't. I didn't eat any of it because uh, my diet right now is I eat when I wake up, and then like one more time in the afternoon, and after five p.m. I don't eat anything. So like by the time I get to the venue and like yeah. serve, I'm just like not even hungry anymore. Damn, so. is that hard to do? It gets easy. Like yeah. at first, it's hard because you're used. Your body's used to guess. I don't know putting right. garbage in it at like 10 yeah. p.m. every day. Yeah. And I was like, "Oh, yeah. this isn't good for me." So right. I just cut out completely. No, yeah. I, I remember whenever you know you you had the exercise thing, uh, and you were kind of posting about it online. Like at the same time, I was like, I was like working out and doing a bunch of stuff. But then I, whenever it got late, 
Yeah. I'd be like, it fucks you up. I have to eat, dude. I'm so hungry. <laughs> yeah. And then I remember you posting that, like, as long as you don't fucking eat like a savage after, you know, 10 p.m. Yeah, or something. Yeah. yeah. And then I, I was like <laughs> eating a piece of chicken, reading your thing, being like, oh, no. <laughs> I'm weak. But, I'm yeah. weak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. And hey, that's like the one thing I've always, somebody, you know, people have always said it. Like, just I mean, don't eat I'm after not per- a certain time. Me, I'm not perfect. I have points in my life where like, I just want to eat everything 24 7. I don't even right. have like a, even a conscious mind of myself yeah, anymore but right it catches up with you, i so. mean it's like i think they were trying to teach us that in gremlins you know what i mean like don't eat after midnight man. yeah although they weren't very specific on what time you should start <laughs> right. to eat again oh right right yeah exactly that's yeah, damn what if you ball. what if you feed uh, a mogwai at like 6 a.m you think that's still turn? I think that's the turn. I think that's the turn hour. Right. I think 12 p.m. is seems to be okay right but I, they weren't specific <laughs> but i just assume right the, the next one's gonna be about that we're, we're gonna figure out what the time period is that you can't feed them right <laughs> yeah we'll do a whole documentary about that <laughs> <laughs> so i know you like some street fighter yeah can you, t- can you talk a little bit about how that became one of your things in life well i just like i uh i guess i'm competitive maybe by nature and i had an older brother that we would share consoles together and play shit and he being older than me i had a bit better grasp of things and we would play a Street Fighter, and I would just lose constantly. And it made me want to understand the game so much. I'm like, I have to at least be able to play him. Right. And uh, and so it just kind of never left me. And like, I le- I just learned how to play when I was like very young. And then I just inherently kept playing. And then I ended up being the kid that was better than everybody, like out of my group of friends, you know. Nice. And uh, just still fun today. I mean, I I there's games I'm I'm good at, games I'm kind of not uh, amazing at, but. Uh, you know, still got my stripes. Did you? What was the first console that you played uh, uh, Street Fighter on? Super, uh, Super Nintendo. Right. Yeah. As, as we, as you can clearly. Did see you ever have the thing where you now. like you would play with your friend? World but Warrior. It, I want to specify it's World Warrior. Right. Played, yeah. Did you ever have the thing where you played with your friend from down the street or whatever, except for he had a Genesis with three buttons? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that was terrible. That, it was sacrilegious, pretty <laughs> yeah. much. Yeah. He, Dude. I remember trying to like it was I didn't have so I didn't have a Super Nintendo at first and one of my homies had the Genesis with the three he had the six button controller and he made me play with the three <laughs> and I would just be like this is fucking wrong dude you can't do this to me so then I got a Super Nintendo and was like let's bring it over there you know the, so. the one character that's kind of good with would be Balrog because you can trick people and they don't actually know what style you're gonna get yeah. right, you know yeah yeah, yeah 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 other than that it's kind of a fucking pain in the ass yeah <laughs> right did you ever have like arguments like no 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 come to my house i have the super nintendo version rather than going and playing the sega because i was a super nintendo kid so yeah. i was like no no no, let's play at my house let's play mortal kombat over here rather than like on a genesis i don't think i had any prejudice against either one i just was happy to that either one would be there right and, you know just work with what you got I've, was, al- I've always been super nintendo for sure yeah yeah i think super nintendo is probably the has stronger material content overall like the rpgs and shit like that yeah. but uh the thing that is cool about sega at least in my opinion is that it does have like unique like fast arcade gaming which is really the only thing sega i think really mustered up and if you were also a big madden fan i guess yeah i wasn't sick, i wasn't very into the f- the fighting games or anything so or not the fighting games the the sports games yeah, yeah i feel like i feel like every time it was when me and my brother my brother's six years older than me so it would be like he would be the sports game guy and mm-hmm. then i'd get my ass kicked and be like oh my god and then he would he'd be like let's get some mortal Kombat on and then eventually he would be like stop letting me win stop letting me win and like I'm not, dude. I'm like a little kid. Like, just don't beat me up in real life. <laughs> but was Street Fighter the only fighting game that you got down on? Um, it was the one I understood the most and still like, like, like to play. I mean, to be honest, gaming in general stopped in my life for a long time until I realized you could play Street Fighter Two online. Yeah. I was like, oh shit! Like, yo, this is a, this is like throwback for me. Like, I'm gonna see like if I still got skills. And then I started getting my ass kicked online, and I went. Hold on a second. It, it, it reignited something I didn't know I liked so much again. I was like, wow, right. like I'm back in. So probably run when Street Fighter 2 Champion, or, or Hyper Fighting, I mean, came out on Xbox 360 online is when I started playing again. But I was oh, I, would, I always knew how to play you know, since I was young. Right. I remember playing, uh, like, EX Plus Alpha. Did you ever play that one? Yeah, I played all of them. Yeah. yeah. I remember being very into that game and, like, just thumbs being numb <laughs> and like calloused because you're trying to connect all of yeah. the you know yeah but that was a good one so 
Yeah, I used to just play the game just to like see the endings of the characters and stuff when I was a kid. Just like, just repetitive right. nonsense like that. If so, if Street Fighter didn't exist, what would be your next fighting game? I don't know. I mean, Street Fighter is kind of like the father of everything. You know what I'm saying? They like they like really created what the genre is now. So it's hard for me to even say what it would other been. Right. Like, I, mean, I I wasn't exposed to anything. I mean, King of Fighters I probably played, mm -hmm. but that to me was such like. Something you only saw at the arcade, like you no one would ever have King of yeah. Fighters at their house. You know what I'm saying? Right. I was to wait till way later and stuff. I was into Samurai Showdown at the arcade. For yeah, the, that for game a while. too. Yeah. yeah, that game did eventually come to Super Nintendo and played that. Yeah, but that was like obviously after World Warrior. So here's the question: Yeah, how do you feel about Mortal Kombat? I don't play Mortal Kombat. Right. I just don't uh, have as much fun playing it. So that's, I'm not saying it's a bad game or anything, but right. I wouldn't like spend time playing it personally. Okay. Man, I kind of wanted you to, like, you know, shit talk it or something. <laughs> I mean, it's <laughs> the worst game ever. It's not. It's not. I mean, truth of the matter, truth of the matter is, it's just I'm not good at it. Right. So I don't really care about it too much. But, I mean, I had fun playing when I was younger. I don't like, – I, 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 if you ask me by which one I think it's actually better, objectively, I think Shredder is a way better game. Right. It's better – made better. It's more about the actual – like, it's, like, more about the actual content of the game, like – how you play rather than being like over flashy, which I think is like Mortal Kombat's whole thing. Since, right. Since, not saying that yeah. the game hasn't evolved a little bit. It's definitely way deeper. Right. But um, I remember looking back, it's like you played, it's like holding a block button and it feels weird. And oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just everything, everything's very stiff, like rather than Street Fighter is like very motion based, like going forward, forward, down, down. Like, yeah. It just it never I feel felt like as it like took, fluid, it, fluid to me. It took a while for, as when it comes to Mortal Kombat, it was like it started out as the fatalities. Like, yeah, exactly. Like, hey, that was you what you played. Kill people, and yeah. then like as the games went on, they focused more on like the fighting. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> way, I think way later though. Right. Yeah. I, I, th I really think the best MK was um, Ultimate Three. Oh yeah. Yeah, buddy. that's definitely the best one. <laughs> yeah, when you got like all the fucking ninjas and all the robots. Oh, it was and, like, sick. Yeah. It was so sick. Yeah, really fun game. Um, I feel like later on now, you know, especially now with Mortal Kombat Two, it's like watching itchy and scratchy whenever a fatality happens <laughs> yeah yeah it's like not, it's just it's not ridiculous what about like the uh the animated street fighter movies and stuff did you did you ever get into any of those like street fighter 2 the animated movie was one of my favorites for the it's, longest it's time it's very well made especially for a video game based anime i think mm -hmm. it's super sick uh, it's really strange because, like, I feel like people don't really, like, give a fuck about Street Fighter lore in general. Like, it's always, like, very kind of, like, watered down, vague. They don't really go too deep into things. They just show you, like, of you know, like, okay, reuse the protagonist, you know what I'm saying? And, like, he goes on an adventure and that's, like, the whole thing or yeah. whatever. Um, but it's uh, it's decent. There's ones that are bad and ones that are good. The bad ones are very known to be bad and the good ones I think are celebrated still. Right. Yeah, right. Like the egg, like obviously, like the uh, U.S. Amer American USA one, whatever it was, USA Network one. Yeah, USA Network. I'm thinking of that one is. Uh, it's just. It's really just one long meme, just like right. one <laughs> giant joke. It's that's how bad it is, you know. And then, um, like there's like a Japanese anime that was made, which is like way better. It's way darker. Really, it's season three is when it gets good. But anyway, how do you feel yeah. about the Jean Claude Van Damme Street Fighter? It's movie? actually. It's, a, it's, like, not a good movie in terms of, like, cinema or writing or dialogue right. or acting or anything. <laughs> yeah. But it's but it's a great <laughs> Street Fighter movie because there's so many little details. Right. Like, like, the bison dollars that he prints and, uh -huh. like, all the bison, like, all the just met, uh, bisonopolis stuff they put in the movie to, like, make it to where, like, you really are, like, in that world. Because I think that's the one thing about the lore that gets ignored is that there is, like, Ryu who's, like, you know, the main dude or whatever. But, like... In terms of the story, I think like the other side of it's way more interesting. Like the whole reason like Street Fighter started and, and Bison, and I think is that's that's a, that's like a whole like a very again very loose lore thing. So it's not yeah. like popular talked about or anything. Um, who so who was your favorite character overall? Um, I mean, I I have I like M Bison just because I like playing him. Yeah, like I think he's the coolest character. Right. Um, he's pretty evil, man. He's got that fucking. He's a, the way he's like designed. You know what I mean? He's, he's badass. Cool. Yeah. He's, he's from Thailand too. Yeah, I don't. I think I think it's. I don't, know why, I, don't, I don't know why they, they made that like his thing. I never really understood that. Why it was Thailand? I mean, Whatever. you, you know, got be, be from somewhere. I'm I guess. Thai. You know, I yeah. eat the food, so it's all good. You know? <laughs> food is bomb. Um, you, you've been there, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's a trip. Yeah. <laughs> that was like the one thing I took away from it. Is just like, dude, the food. 
well worth it. Like, if anything, I'm going to shout out, you know, Thailand on his shout food. Shout out to food. Right <laughs> <laughs> and then they were like, with the one time we were there, they were like, yo, man, if, you, if your show would have ended earlier, we could have took you to see the Ladyboy show. And, like, everyone in my band who I thought would be weird about that were like, no, we want to go to a Ladyboy <laughs> show. <laughs> you ever been to Thailand? <laughs> you, what you asked me that just now after the fact it changed the whole tone dude no actually I don't think I'm into Thailand <laughs> sorry man. they told us about a ping pong show too they were like dude if you guys were here longer we go to a ping pong show girls shoot the ping pongs out of there nice yeah so vagina you... right yeah <laughs> <laughs> they, know, they just have little guns they're popping right <laughs> So when you go to Thailand, you know what you're looking for then. You know, for <laughs> entertainment purposes, not for anything, like, weird, you know. Just because, research. Just research. Right. I mean, I'm not gay or anything, but I'll watch some lady boys kick their legs in the air <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> right. As long as I'm enjoying some, like, <laughs> drinks. Or, like, as long as my <laughs> eyes are open and something is happening in front of me, I guess right. it's all right. As long as it's in Thailand and some, <laughs> if it's weird, it's weird, you know? It's yeah, the culture. That's not a bad way to live, man. I'm not right. hating on it. Um, I know in Thai culture also, they it's very popular for them to have, like, famous, like, cross-dressers to play in their movies and stuff. So who? I guess in, I'm learning who, tonight. Who in Street Fighter <laughs> would be played by a man? That's a woman. Chun Li, maybe. Uh, uh, what's his name? Jackie Chan did that. Oh, it's yeah. hilarious! Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, that little. Uh, it was like a short. Yeah, or whatever. Dude, it was, that was sick. skip from a it movie or something. Right. What is it from? I think it's a skip from a movie. Okay. Like they just did a spoof in it, and, they, you know? and there was a lot of really cool special effects and shit. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So. So Jackie Chan's a cross dresser. Right. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Right. Jackie no. Chan's a lady boy. He's, oh, boy. Lady He's boy. got the Asian culture, dude. You know, it's, like, it's okay. It's common. <laughs> Only in America they get weird about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But not anymore because it's 2019. You don't need to fucking weird about it. Nobody's weird about it. No, not at all. So what, Especially what, Jackie Chan. It, right. <laughs> So what other weird? What other? Uh, I was about to say what other weird. What shit? other weird stuff are you into? <laughs> what, uh, what other nerdy shit are you into besides uh, you know like Street Fighter and stuff like that? I guess it just depends on the flavor, what it is, you know. Right. Like I, I obviously grew up liking games and comics and yeah, all that other, you know, type of shit. Um, so um, yeah, I like certain parts of it. I'm not like someone who's like a master of all when it comes to like knowledge, shinfo about yeah, like yeah. shit like that. You know, like what, what's uh, one of your top comic books that? You well, the only read? character I've ever liked. Was Thanos? He's the only per, like yeah. character I read like all the story arcs and collect all his appearances and stuff like nice. that. Like I really like, think he's the best character Marvel ever made. Um, but uh, other than that, I think like the rest of it's like fun and cool. But I don't like buy it or read it. Right. Or really? Like Did that, you, you know? like how they portrayed Thanos in Marvel versus Capcom? Capcom. Yeah, I mean, especially in in Marvel's Capcom too. I mean, he's he's cool in in um whatever the, the in, in Infinite is. He's pretty sick. Right. Yeah. Uh, do, you, are, do you keep up with the movies and shit? Yeah, I, I, I try to. The last, yeah, I actually haven't seen the last one, actually. The last the Avengers game? movie, yeah. Every time I'm about to watch it, I fall asleep. Oh, really? <laughs> I swear to God, I turn it on and I look how long it is. I'm like, I just immediately, it immediately <laughs> yeah, makes yeah. me tired. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely, you have to take a little break in between. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like I, I'm surprised it hasn't been on like a, a flight. Usually I watch a lot of movies on airplanes, yeah. you know. How do you like Thanos in that? Uh, cool. The man yeah. of the badass. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, Josh Brolin. He's sick. Who would have known that little kid from Goonies <laughs> would be snap be cable, <laughs> everyone be, out of I existence? Mean, he got a bunch of good roles. Yeah, right. he was key killed those cable. It's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Do you think Thanos was right though? Well, I mean, the way the movie portrays him is like kind of like someone who just feels like they're fulfilling their prophecy, their own self prophecy. But like right. the comics makes it a little more like I don't know, fucking romantic yeah because he's doing it to impress death in the comics right Mm -hmm. i just think about like you know when it comes to the movies whenever i'm like driving through dallas traffic i'm like maybe thanos (laughs) (laughs) had some shit going on you know maybe we should have just listened a little maybe he could come to the town meeting (laughs) just kind of like riff about (laughs) but you know are you you a depopulation guy 
you know, I'm I'm not. I I, I think everyone deserves to live, and you know, life is great. But mm-hmm. damn, traffic! Can we do something? <laughs> <laughs> we need the flying car. Right. If I was to ever become a supervillain, those moments in traffic <laughs> might traffic. be what set me off. <laughs> or like standing in line at like standing six in flags. line. <laughs> oh my god! You know, just having to deal with other people that want what I want. Right. Just fuck right. that. You know. I mean, I work at a I work at a pretty big casino, and like you know, I I'm a barback, so I like push carts of mm. beer, and like there's times on a Saturday night where I'm like, get out of my <laughs> way, guys! Thirty six thousand people, and you're all in my way. You know what I mean? So. I like that your or your your evil origin story is standing in line, and, and <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's actually how you got your power yeah. is the tension of standing just in like, line. Oh. Just it'd be like he's he's always let things go his whole life, but he. Bottled them up. <laughs> Stanley's probably wishing he had this idea. <laughs> Rest in peace. Yeah. I mean, you know what? Maybe maybe I should write that. <laughs> That's I should true. write that comic. Yeah. So. so, what else you got, man? Fucking, That's it. That's, that's actually it. it. That's where it all ends with me. <laughs> so what's uh? So on like a normal tour, you know, like have you? Do you ever th- think that the routine of being in a band like gets gets a little tiring or No, no, I love um being with the crew and being at the show and meeting the people like that's definitely the most fun part of my life. Like other when I'm not doing like this touring gig, yeah. I'm like fucking like what the fuck am I here for? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> what's the point of this fucking charade of life? But right. um when I get to do this, it actually kind of makes sense, so Yeah, I feel you. Whenever uh, you know, when I my band ended I was lost as fuck for a little bit. It was just like, what am I going to fucking do, man? Yeah. You know? And then it took me about three years to find something to do. <laughs> and, you know, I, I started dealing cards, like, at that casino. And I was, so I was, I would just deal cards to, like, rich, entitled assholes that were like, fucking dealer sucks. So I was like, this isn't helping my <laughs> Yelp life. reviewing you in front of you. <laughs> Casino's nice. Dealer could be better. Yeah. Dealer could have gave me good, yeah. good cards, but uh, yeah, but yeah, I eventually found my way, and this is one of them. This is one of the things I do now. So, it's so righteous. Yeah, it's awfully fun. As long as you're not uh, hurting yourself or others, man, you know life is groovy, right? Yeah, unless you know, like, unless you're hurting yourself for for pleasure. Unless that's your thing, <laughs> then yeah, <laughs> for right. sure. But don't, don't want to offend people that love right. to hurt themselves yeah. out there. <laughs> Fuck yeah. you, man. Yeah, do what you want. Pain though. is yeah. my pleasure. <laughs> You know you, how it goes. You into, <laughs> you into horror movies at all? Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite horror, horror movie? Um, I like campy horror movies a lot. Like I think Evil Dead and that stuff is like some of the best horror ever made. Yeah. And then I like like psychological horror. But I'm trying. I'm like blanking out on all of it. Like I like all the I like all the any movie about de- devil worshiping and exorcisms mm-hmm. and shit like that. I love all of it, dude. I think it's yeah. all badass. Uh, we. The, the last movie I saw was a uh, fucking Midsummer or whatever. Midsummer. Midsummer. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that what a trip that movie was. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, uh, I, I, it wasn't scary, but I liked it a lot. Yeah. It was just tension, you know. Like, I like anything that has esoteric shit in it. Anything yeah. that looks really like, like what the fuck does that mean? I'm yeah. always I like yeah. shit like that. You know, I don't want to understand shit. I want to somehow make my mind go like, what? Could, how is I'm gonna? How am I gonna like? Yeah. Download that, you know. I went into that movie not knowing shit about it. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> whenever you know the shit hit the fan, I was like. What the fuck yeah. did I do? Why am I Vis- here? Visually, but, so no, stunning. It, yeah, dude, it is. Uh, and I have a friend. So on my channel, we have a thing called Scary Movie Club. We talk about scary movies a lot. And one of my buddies was like really into that movie. And he was like, did you notice that there are a lot of story beats that resemble The Wizard of Oz in that movie? So because it's like. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, I guess. Yeah, as I mean, as dark as it seems, like, you know, each character resembled, like, a character from Wizard of Oz. Like, you have the fool and, you yeah. have, like, the uh, the heartless guy who's dating the chick mm. who doesn't really care. And there's the black guy, the lion, the brave guy. Right, the brave guy. Okay. And then, you know, like, whenever they approach the place, they're walking through the woods following a patch of yellow flowers that lead them mm. there. So... So it's like a dark fairy tale that ends really fucked up. I wonder. I wonder if that's any kind of source material. Yeah, maybe. Did you ever watch that Snowpiercer movie? Yeah. A lot of people say that's like a uh, 
a unofficial sequel to Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Oh, really? Yeah, because there's a lot of stuff like his, the main character's name, like the the guy at the very end of the train, his name upside down or the letter upside down is from Wonka and stuff. And oh, nice. Each of there's four rooms, just like the four kids that get a. Uh, the, the girl that gets blown up into the big blueberry and the kid that gets right. sucked up into the chocolate thing. Like, there's people that represent all those characters and stuff. So there might be something to right. people adding their own endings to these stories. I mean, I feel you, man. I've, uh, there's some... <laughs> it's funny how the internet, though, can do that with anything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, they'll be like, yo, this is the sequel to fucking... Ernest scared stupid. So honestly, <laughs> yeah, I was, I was gonna say like I think uh, there's always like that kind of like um, tethered feeling to everything. You could always relate something to something else somehow. It has some kind of mirroring, you know. With any storytelling, I feel there's always like those like how can I put it? archetypes, right? You know what I'm saying? So it's not always difficult to make those kind of like connections, right? So when we were uh, when we did a tour together, I remember one of my bandmates was playing a prank, and it kind of upset you one time. You probably remember, did. I don't remember that. But I remember what it is. It was, and I was like, I, he's one of those guys, Mikey. Do you remember Mikey? No. Mikey, my drummer. Is that bad that I don't? <laughs> no, now I do. Now I, now I have a visual of him. <laughs> right. He used to think it was so funny to, to, do, food. to do the dumbest things. Is it to, food? Yeah. Involved? It, yeah, it, yeah, it yeah, was yeah. a sandwich in your pocket. Yeah. And, and, and I know, was like, it was like, my jacket was filled with sandwich. I was just like, what the f- like why it was why is someone touching my shit right you yeah know, that's kind of my my mentality yeah. like and that's what i wasn't I mad about really like even ruin anything i'm just yeah. like dude i don't i don't like that right yeah i was like dude just don't mess with people's stuff man and he's like oh it's gonna it's gonna be funny and i was like what if it's, it's not right. funny to somebody yeah i don't i don't remember how old we were but no it's it's, all <laughs> I, I, it's all, <laughs> definitely gonna pass dude it's all right sorry i mean sorry if i if i blew up at all no i want you yeah. to look in that camera and yeah. in wrestler voice Confront brother. Him. <laughs> yeah. I want you to tell I'll Mikey. never forget the day you crossed me. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not going to do any uh, take fives or the, the call. Them. I've I've had a thing with wrestler voice lately. I just want it to be somewhere in my show, just to be like, <laughs> <laughs> like I thought it. I thought it would be a good idea if you handled roommate problems by sending wrestler voice messages, and like. You do the dishes, <laughs> or I'll find you, and I'll take you to SummerSlam and show you. You know what I mean? Or something <laughs> stupid like that. But you know what? It's been a great show, and uh, I think now we're going to play some Street Fighter. Are you down with that? Yeah, we can do some Street Fighter. Yeah. yeah down. Cool. Are we going to verse we'll just, somebody? Or just we'll just let it, like we'll let it We'll let it run, you know, the recording and stuff, and uh, I would like to play you. Yeah, even yeah. though even though I know you've uh, you bitch slapped my hiney before at Ca- Marvel vs. Capcom. Yeah. And, yeah. Easy win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what I was I was telling Toby. I was like, Frankie's always been nice to me, but, like, every time he's beat me at, like, a fighting game, he's made me feel real bad about myself. <laughs> 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 but, yeah, let's do it. Let her set. I'm just gonna go with straight up kit. Attack level's normal, stage is real, it's fine. Good. Ooh. Ooh. No. Okay. GG. Okay. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Good. That, was that, good. Was good, that was good though. That was good though. Yeah. yeah. You or do you want to do two out of three? Uh, whatever, whatever. Whatever. Try format. again. Okay, I'll try, I feel, again. I'll try I feel like, again. I feel like your excuse is like, well, Ken's not my guy. It's real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. yeah, it's real. Right. Real, real. They play different. Yeah, nobody wants to be a blonde white guy. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play Ken again though. Wait. Yeah. I'm gonna play. Well, fuck. I don't know. If you're being someone different, I'll be right. Here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs>
Ooh, that was close. Wait. Really close. Oh, okay. oh. Yeah, I was about to say. See, I can't play with those charge characters like that. That's my favorite shit. I can't do charge. That, what, weren't you Dorm, do, Dormammu whenever we played uh, Marvel? Yeah. Yeah. Because he's pretty much like Blackheart, but for fucking Marvel 3 or whatever. Oh, very good, very good. Valiant. Yeah. Do you want to switch so we're not? No, uh, no. I, I mean, I, I'm, unless you really feel more comfortable. No, no, no. I'm good. Let's see. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try my hand at that. Some can. Ooh. I didn't even know you could do alternate outfits. Yeah, for a start. Each button, no. isn't it each button? I don't think Hyper Fighting has multiple colors. You just have um, a base color and then an alternate color. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I knew he was about to charge that. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Damn. Yeah, I just remember that when we, we did play Marvel vs. Capcom and I was like... I, I, the thing is, I wasn't used to like any of the special shit. Like the you were, you were like, why didn't you use your X Factor? And I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, that's, sounds about right. Oh man! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I can't get out. Oh, nice guy. Damn it! <laughs> See, and I have a video game podcast where I do retro video game stuff, oh, and, and you're putting me to shame. Right now. <laughs> I feel like You're I should feel be better. You're gonna feel it in those comments. I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, of course you suck. No, nah, man. See. It's just I've been doing this for too long. See, I don't know if I can play. I played Dalsim on Street Fighter Four. I don't know if it's gonna carry over back down to two. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I don't remember anything. No, I'm not gonna do anything good on this. I'm a big collector of action figures, so I actually got you some things for uh, you know for doing this with us. Yeah, for and, sure. Uh... Yeah, you've already killed me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> What's the company? Awesome Savage too. World. Yeah, they're they're actually. It's funny they started as kind of like this satire. I, I people like me. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. I got you a shirt too. Oh, thanks, man. Thank you, thank you. Very kind of you. Hell yeah. And uh, that's make sure they can't you know, shirt too, so they know that you really did get me a shirt. You're not lying. Right. Like a big shirt. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, man. Yeah, thanks, it's guys. all good. We appreciate you doing this. Yes. And, uh, it looks like none of us got the best of you in Street Fighter, but. Sure. D didn't you? Uh, didn't you beat? You, you were posting something about beating one of the best players. Well, right? I don't want. I don't, don't want to brag about my win or anything, but <laughs> I was very proud to take a W off of my buddy um, Ken Via Lobos, aka uh, Chaos. He's like the best Marvel vs. Capcom two player probably nice. in the world right now. That's and it. I, I got. I I beat him. Right. To get one game out of maybe the thirty times I've ever played. <laughs> hey, just take that one, dude. Be you don't have to be humble about that. Uh, I would be fucking. I would be dude, talking I was, I was about it. To, I was fired up. I'd be talking about it three months later. <laughs> if, like, if, remember? If, if I had been recording the inside, like the room I was in, you would have heard me like stomping around <laughs> and stuff. Yeah, dude. I would be like, dude, shout out to chaos, yeah. dude. I'd be at Applebee's and they'd be like, "What can I get you?" And I'd be like, "I beat that dude." And <laughs> like, <laughs> just telling everyone. Yeah. Right. But. Yeah, I guess we could end this. Cool. Uh, anything you want to say? No, thank you for having me. It's cool being here, and uh, good luck with everything. You guys thank are doing. you. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. you. And if you like our videos, hit the like button. Please subscribe. Please leave us a comment. If you want, leave us a comment telling us your favorite Amir album. If you got any questions for Frankie, or if you want to tell us what we could do better, let us know. You lose. So, I hope you enjoyed the interview. That was a fun one. Uh, we got our asses kicked by Frankie, <sighs> Street Fighter. Yeah. What would you think about that? I, I, I Well, I mean, uh, Street Fighter 2 is not my, my normal game I play. I like Street Fighter 4, so if Frankie wants to come back and 
try to challenge me on that. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> right. You know what, though? I don't claim to be the best at Street Fighter. I claim to be good at Mortal Kombat. So, next time, we'll do some more fighting games. Hopefully, Frankie would be down to do that again. Yeah. Or maybe we could get Josh this time. You know, what's up? What's up, Josh? That's a, that's a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> that's a challenge right there. Right. Anyways, well, thanks for watching the finale of the 2019 Watch Up and Tribute Nerd. See you later, nerds. Okay.